welcome to Phoenix Tempe. We are in Phoenix, Arizona, um, in the downtown um, Tempe area. I am starting the vlog off with a room tour. We're doing a girl's trip, just me and my mom. So uh, without further ado, let's look at the room. You ready? Okay. Good morning, guys. So it is day two in Phoenix. Um, oh, I'm trying to do an outfit of the day. I ain't even put on my shoes yet. <laughs> Let me get my shoes. Okay, well, when I put my shoe on, um, this is my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this um, all green workout set. And the back is out. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe I'll have my mom show you guys the back. We're actually twins today. Oh, yes. That's the back. So, the back is out. And y'all see that dark green detailing? Hello. Yes, we're twins. Um, when I put my shoes on, I'm wearing these white uh, Tom Fords. So, yeah. Um, and I'm just carrying my little... Um, what is it called? My little fanny pack from Pink because we may get out. Actually, I probably should put on my black gym shoes. Well, because some of the places we might stop, I wonder if it's going to be dirty. Yeah, y'all. I'm actually not wearing these. I'm going to put on some black gym shoes because it just hit me. We're about to go to Sedona and... I don't want I don't want to mess these up so I'm gonna put on some black gym shoes some black um Sorrel gym shoes I think they are I actually found those gym shoes when my Rose Steel did a collab with them and those are the most comfortable gym shoes to work out in walk in do anything in so Yes, uh, first we're about to go grab breakfast. Um, there's a place called First Watch down the street from the hotel. So, yeah, see you guys at breakfast. Okay, y'all, this is what we're doing for breakfast. Ham and cheese omelet, salad, and a pancake. Okay, thank you. And this is a kale tonic. So, if you ever eat at First Watch, I recommend this kale tonic. Um, super fresh green juice to start the morning. Okay guys, so we stopped at the Discovery Center up here in Lake Pleasant Park. And look at this slide for the kids. The swings, this is super cute. So if you have um, kids, this would be a nice place to vacation. Look at that. Turtle for them to climb on. The turtle is chewing on a flower. Here is a snake slide. A little tree to climb. This is super cute. And then for the adults, look at that view. It is so peaceful out here. Look at that. Okay, guys. So, I feel like I haven't talked to the camera much. But, yes. Yeah, so, first stop, Lake Pleasant. We have 10 more stops. Um, and I was saying we may do five on the way to Sedona and five on the way back. Because we are, we've been in Lake Pleasant for a while. Just hopping out, looking at stuff, taking pictures. So, yeah. About to get back in the car. And unless we see something else incredible, we're gonna go to the next stop. Okay guys, we just got to, I, I, 
Acrosanti. Acrosanti, Acrosanti. The Urban Laboratory. Again, I saw this on Google. I don't even know what it is, but we about to go see. Okay, y'all. Acrosanti was a send-off mission because <laughs> we out here on this trail. And we can't see the arch from the trail, so. And I don't know what trail we need to get on to even find it. I mean, the view is beautiful behind me. But, um, yeah, and it's a little nippy out here. I don't have my jacket on, so I'm just going to consider this a send-off. And we're going to go to the next place. Okay, y'all, I guess it wasn't a send-off. I think we walked past it. So... That's the arch we was trying to find right there. And now that we hiking this hill, on the way back, I think I see it. Um, they only do, do tours about three times a day, so we're not here at a time where we can get in. But at least we can say we saw it. So that's that. Okay, I'll holler at y'all when we finish this hill okay y'all so send off mission number two <laughs> we were trying to find the agua fria monument i don't There's know animals in here. yeah no i'm straight um we tried to find the agua fria monument but it just hit me that it may be something you have to hike down to um i think you can hopefully it's focusing but I'll insert a picture of like what it's supposed to look like, I believe. Okay, you see how it's, it say right here, it says, hold on y'all. It says Agua Fria National Monument. It's a sign right here, but I don't see nothing that's giving me monument vibes. So you must have to park back there and then maybe oh, hike this way. I'm not doing no more hiking today. I'm getting hungry. Or unless you drive, you want to drive down this road real quick? Or you want to just go? We can just go. Let's just go to Sedona. Let's just go to Sedona. You know what? They got wine tasting in Sedona. They got vortexes in Sedona. They got restaurants in Sedona. We are done with nature for the day. I'm hot and I'm very hungry. So we are doing no more send-off missions today. Um, yeah, are you hungry yet? Yes. Yeah, We okay, so we both hungry. We both, I'm still hot from the last hike. I'm about to crack my window as soon as I turn the camera off. But um, I would say Lake Pleasant has been the highlight of the day. Would you say? Okay, so we would both agree that Lake Pleasant was the prettiest. Was the prettiest thing that we saw today. I like I liked all the cacti like that we saw around Lake Pleasant. I don't think the camera really does it any justice, but. Um, I really enjoyed all the all the different shapes and heights and all that of all the different cacti so yeah y'all um i'm about to find somewhere for us to go eat on the way to sedona and hopefully we can catch a vortex and that'll be that hey y'all so we are in sedona headed to eat um and i just wanted to show you all these red rocks they're so beautiful um you can see here some of the rock is like three different tones and then check this out to the right of me there is snow isn't that cool snow on this side snow up there in the mountains summer to the left summer and red rock to the left oh, i guess it's a little snow over there too so yeah, that's pretty decent. Okay guys, so we are at Holy Cross Cathedral. Why am I messing up the name of all these places? So right there is the praying hands. And y'all, I don't know. I'm gonna put it all on the screen. I'm so tired. It's been a long day, <laughs> but we about to go show y'all the Holy Cross Cathedral. So be right back.
was had today I don't know if the camera effectively captured it all but the time was had um I think we are both very tired to the point where we don't want to go out to eat again tonight so last night we got room service I don't know if I picked up the camera for that but we got room service last night and honestly thinking about running it back again tonight I don't know for sure um yeah if we go out i will um i'll see you guys later if we don't go out then i will see you in the morning because we have to be at church at 7 30 a.m for service that starts at eight so what's the name of the church we're going to pilgrim baptist mm -hmm. We're gonna go to visit Pilgrim Baptist Church in Phoenix. So, shout out to Pilgrim. Um, and yeah, so I will most likely see you guys tomorrow. Okay, good morning. Um, we are rushing because we have to be at church at, well, we're supposed to be there at 7.30. We'll probably get there about 7.45. It's starting at eight. Um, this is what I'm wearing to church. I didn't pack church clothes, so I'm just wearing jeans and this bodysuit from Naked Wardrobe. I have a coat because it's 44 degrees outside. Um, would you like to show your church outfit, dear? No. I'm going to serve God. Let's go. So you don't want to show your outfit? Oh. No. Okay. All right. Well, see y'all later. Okay, y'all. We have been out all day long. Um, I am so tired. I feel like I got beat with a sack of nickels. This lady can shop. <laughs> I don't think she heard me. But um, now we about to go to um, this Mexican restaurant that somebody on a plane last week told me about, Valle Luna. So I'm gonna turn around and let you guys see it and I'll definitely show you the food and the vibe when we get inside. Okay, so here it is, Valle Luna. And we are at the Tempe Mesa location, but they have multiple. It looks like it's gonna be huge. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, good morning. We are starting the day again, the outfit of the day. Um, I'm just wearing another workout set, all black, um, with my little fanny pack, cause we're gonna do some walking and exploring today as well. Um, and I think after we do brunch, we're gonna return a couple of items to Zara that didn't fit. Um, yeah, so. And I'll do a try on haul probably when I make it home, um, either tomorrow or Wednesday morning of everything I got at Zara for you guys. I'm trying to think, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, we might try to check out our auto museum today in Glendale. And then I think um, there's an entertainment district that I saw online that I kind of want to check out, but we gonna see y'all. I'm gonna try to pick up my camera a lot more today um, cause I feel like you guys have been kind of missing out, but, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm also going to do a reel and it's just much easier for me to pull out my phone, snap a quick picture versus always trying to pull out my camera and my phone. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this vlog. I'm a little rusty, but I'm getting back to it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Wearing white gym shoes today and my little 
fanny pack. I, I don't know if I want to wear like it on the side, but that's uncomfortable. So I guess I'll just wear it in the front. Although I do think it's cute on the side, or maybe I'll put it across me. Um, I don't know. This top is like the top that I wore on Monday. It has like that cut out in the back. Um, so yeah, super cute. And then I'm going to wear um, for a jacket, I'ma just throw on this white uh, Nike jacket because it's been a little chilly in Phoenix, chillier than I thought it was gonna be. Here's the brunch spot, brunch and sip. Um, I gotta check and see if this black on. If this one is not, I know for sure the one I'm gonna go to tomorrow is, so I'll definitely be sure to shout that one out. Okay, y'all, I got shrimp and grits. It smells lovely. And I am drinking a mimosa. <laughs> Definitely gonna let y'all know how it is. Okay, guys, quick note. Um, brunch and sip is black owned. So when you come to Phoenix, come to brunch and sip. Saturdays or Sundays are the best days. Okay, gotta go, cause copyright music. Hey y'all, so we are um, at the mall. It's called Scottsdale Fashion Square. Um, just FYI, if you go to Neiman's, the valet is free. So there's a little tip. Okay, see you at Zara. Hey y'all, I'm just doing a quick check-in. It is, I don't know what time it is actually. If I had to guess, I would say about 2 2 30 um we ate brunch this morning and i showed you guys brunch um just a reminder that was a black owned business so if you come to phoenix definitely check out a brunch and sip near you the food was excellent um we went ahead and did our return at um zara and were able to exchange everything except for in one dress they didn't have the right size so but overall pretty successful um Hopefully I've already done the Zara try on haul for you guys and you can see everything that I got. Um, yeah, they had a couple good deals at Zara. I got like two dresses that were only 35 bucks um, and the material was decent. So I expect to have them in my wardrobe for a while. Now we are at the outlet mall called the outlets at Anthem or Anthem outlets. Um, it's in, it's off, it's in Anthem, I, I'm assuming, Arizona. Um, I'll link everything below in case I'm totally wrong. Um, I had to come do the check-in in this bathroom because this is the nicest bathroom I've ever seen at an outlet mall. Like, it don't smell bad in here, like nothing. Like, um, I think I have the bathroom to myself, so I'm just gonna show you guys. Look at this, it's beautiful. Like, I feel like I'm at a resort. Like you can go to a resort and there be a bathroom like this. And each stall is like a full door. This is me acting like I ain't never been nowhere. Y'all know I've been a lot of places, but I still appreciate nice things no matter where I am, okay? Never lose your spirit of appreciation no matter what you have or how far you go or anything in this life. Like when something is beautiful, have the humility to call it beautiful. And baby, this is a beautiful bathroom, okay? Especially for our LM mom. So, all right, see you guys at the next stop. Okay guys, so the auto museum in Glendale was closed today. What else did I want to go to? It was something else I wanted to go to today that was also closed on Monday. So remember we was gonna go to the auto museum and it was one other place I looked up and they were closed. So um, I tried to show you guys the million dollar homes that we went to drive past in Paradise Valley um obviously the landscaping blocks most of the houses or they have like retainer walls or gates right because if you paying millions of dollars for a house 
I wouldn't want nobody to be able to just roll up and look straight in my house either. So I tried to show you guys what I could. Um, Paradise Valley is beautiful. And we spent the rest of the night with family. We went over there for dinner, so we didn't go out to dinner tonight. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna eat a leaf on me. Um, maybe I eat them. Um, so yeah, we went, we spent most of the night with family, um, looking at old pictures. It was nice. I saw a birth certificate that was in black and white. I saw a marriage certificate that was in black and white. Nothing like what it looks like now. And what they say they got married for five dollars? Mm -hmm. They've been married for 56 years, y'all. They got married for five dollars. They said they tried to charge them ten dollars at City Hall, that they went somewhere else where they knew they can get it for five. Imagine getting married for five dollars and still been married 56 years later, compared to people that's spending thousands upon thousands upon tens of thousands for a wedding and don't make it five minutes. But that's neither here nor there. I'll, t I'll take the five the five dollars, okay? If it's gonna last 56 years. Um, yeah, we had a great time here. I would like to come back to Phoenix very soon, actually. Um, so yeah, we about to go downstairs and have one last drink to seal the trip because I have to take my mom to the airport at 4 a.m. And it's about 9.30 now. So we're gonna have one last sip to seal in the girls trip. And then we're gonna go to bed because we're getting up at four. Okay, so we just found out there's a bar on the 14th floor. Oh, and look at the pool. Oh, good. <laughs> is the pool, I'm sure the pool is closed, right? Oh, it's not 10. Okay, mom, let me show that. Let me show my vlog the pool. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's heated. Oh, we could have been outside. Okay, so I had no idea that the pool was heated. And I assumed that because it's chilly, the pool was closed, but it's not. And this is the part of the reason why I even picked this hotel, y'all. Look at the view. This is the view from the rooftop. And then, look at the pool. I can't wait to come here in the summertime. We already decided we definitely coming back for sure. So, yeah. And now we're about to go to the bar. Oh, the bar closes at 10 too? Yes, it does. Okay, so oh, thank you. And then this is the bar is called alibi this is so cute 